Hi guys, it's DK388. I'm just doing an unboxing and a setup video of this Tapo Pan and Tilt Home Security Indoor Wi Fi camera. Let's just uh, got the Amazon, it's about 30 odd pounds. Um, so, yeah, let's just uh, crack this open, see what's inside. It's a 1080p uh, camera with uh, a local storage um, SD, micro SD. Um, we'll show that in a minute when we set up. So we're opening up everything neatly contained in this cardboard holder. We've got the um, power adapter, we've got like a ceiling and wall mount base, and then the camera itself. It's a quite a little, discreet little uh, camera system. So you've got the power, power input at the back. Um, Watching it initializing. So that is the, just a quick, quick start guide. Um, there's the mounting plate for your wall or ceiling. Yeah. Um, so if you have an Apple or an Android, you just download the TP-Link app. Just open it up. Do need to um, register and set up an account, so it's quite easy to do. And once you're in your home screen, you can uh, start adding your cameras if you have uh, more than one. As you can see, there's uh, multiple models. Um, in this case, it's a TC70. And you can see the, the green and red light blinking, so it's um, it's ready to sync with the app. Um, so you just follow the on-screen prompts. Just connect, connect to the uh, the camera. Just take a while, and then you set your uh, location of where where this camera is. So in this case, I'm just going to pick pick. Um, I think I'm just going to pick the living room, the dining room. That's it. Um, you will need to set up or connect to your um, your home Wi-Fi as well. Um, there is a, a subscription-based cloud storage if you want it, but otherwise you can um, just store locally on the SD card, which we'll do in a minute. So here we go. Um, got up to 128 gigabytes of storage using a Class 10 uh, card, and you must. Uh, format it using the um, using the camera and the app. Don't don't format it on the on the laptop or PC. So the the SD card is located underneath the camera. So you need to tilt the camera up to expose the slot. And then you have to just put it in as normal. And then. Once the app identifies a card, it will um, initialize or format it accordingly. So it's quite easy, easy setup. Just follow the screen on screen prompts. And as you can see, there's a progress bar. Um, it takes a while for it to do. So, Press OK, and then that's it. You're in the, uh, the actual camera system itself. Um, you can talk to it. You can pan tilt, do a voice call, and um, put it on sleep mode or privacy mode. Um, so you can just use the simple controls: to tilt it, uh, pan it left and right, and tilt it up and down. There is a full screen option full um, for your phone. I'm just playing around the on the joystick controls here. Yeah, that's the full screen. It's 1080p, so it's quite, camera quality is uh, quite impressive. And 
and doesn't seem to be much lag on it either, so um, it's quite good. So yeah, the plus side of um, over um, like a, something like a static camera, like a Blink Mini, is it's fixed. With this you can obviously rotate it, pan, tilt, um, but there's no zoom function on there. So it's just a fixed focal point. Um, and then you can have like several other cameras set up. So yeah, very easy, very easy to use app. Um, there is a, also a motion de detection system. Um, it's got a built-in speaker, just demonstrate it here. So hopefully that's a good deterrent. Um, if anyone does does intrude, and then just going through the camera settings, um, you can have the LED light, light on or off. Select your video quality. So default it's 720, and then you can up it to 1080. Just save that. <laughs> then you can do all your scheduling. And then any sort of uh, privacy options you can have. Um, so yeah, very good, very easy to use. Thanks for watching.